Hi Lakeview family. Hope you guys are having a good uh, week. Uh, my name is Matt English. I uh, just wanted to sh take a few minutes to share uh, some things that God has been placing on my heart lately. And I think the big thing for me is trusting God, just trusting His uh, timing and trusting the, the path uh, that you're walking with Him. It's been, it's been a challenge. I'm in a really odd season for myself because I, I've been used to being a pretty busy guy with college and, and other things like that. And I, I'm fresh out of college and, you know, I'm not, I'm not uh, native to Wisconsin. Uh, my wife and I are pretty new to Wisconsin. And, and I'm sitting here now. I don't have a whole lot going on because I... Uh, I'm just working one day a week, and that's really unusual for me. And it just it just kind of feels like I'm in the stillness in my, in my life. Sometimes it feels like things are really stagnant. I know they're not, but it kind of feels that way just because just because of what I what I was used to um, throughout college and uh, being a teenager as well. So I have a lot of time where I'm just sitting here at home. Uh, throughout the week, and there's really just not a whole lot going on from uh, for myself, and it, it it can be it can be really weird because uh, I feel like I'm supposed to be doing all this stuff, and uh, I'm not really sure what God has ahead of me. It's it's kind of hard to see uh, the, the road right ahead. It's uh, kind of like things are a little foggy right now, and uh, I just. I just have to remind myself, and uh, for any of you who might be at this this kind of crossroad in their life, where it feels like uh, feels like not not a lot's going on, or or you're, you're at some you're at some kind of crossroad where where you're not sure what path to take, and I just I remember uh, back to just a couple summers ago, where I had just finished college um, at uh, Western Illinois University. And just a couple of months later it was my wedding date, and I had to uh, we had to figure that out. We had to find jobs, figure out where we're going to live, all in one summer, and it was crazy. And the only way we could have gotten through that is through the Lord, leaning into Him and uh, trusting that He will get us through that. And like I said, maybe right now that's that's where you feel like uh, that you're at some kind of crossroad in life. Uh, the pandemic going on, we're not really sure what's what's ahead, but uh, I just I just encourage you guys to to be still. Or if you're in a at a point in life where where things are still right now, just this might be a time to sit back and listen, really study God's word, uh, grow closer to Him, and He'll show you uh, He'll show you the path that He wants to take. And uh, I just wanted to, to leave you guys with this. Um, we've been studying the Gospel of Mark in, uh, in youth group, and I had the, the uh, privilege to, to, uh, sh to share the lesson uh, last Wednesday. And uh, we, the passage we, were, uh, we, we studied was uh, Mark 1, 16 through 20. And uh, that's the calling of Jesus' first disciples. That's uh, Simon, Peter, and Andrew, and James and John. And uh, verse 17 in particular, this is when Jesus is calling out to them. And he says, come, follow me, Jesus said, and I will send you out to fish for people. And the, uh, Simon Peter and, and Andrew and James and John, all four of them, without hesitation, dropped what they were doing. They were out there fishing, but they dropped what they're doing, their, their previous lifestyle of, uh, of fishing, and followed Jesus. And that's, what, and that's what we need to do. That even in these uncertain times, that we need to not let our own desires and our own, uh, maybe the things that we're doing in our own life, distract us from what God really wants to do, uh, really wants us to do. And He calls us to follow Him. Even if you're not doing a whole lot right now, He does have a plan for you. And He, and he will and he, be ready to follow Him whenever He calls. And uh, just, I just wanted to share that with you guys, and uh, I hope you guys have a great day.